the music world is mourning the loss of Bruce Guthrow, the talented singer and songwriter. Bruce was most well known for his role as the frontman of the Scottish rock band Drunrig. At the age of 62, Bruce's passing was confirmed in a heartfelt social media post by Ippian former bandmate, Pete Wishart. So, so sad to hear of the untimely death of my friend and former bandmate Bruce Guthrow, Pete shared. This news came just two months after Bruce had revealed his battle with a serious illness. Priscilla Presley gets candid about sex life with 24-year-old Elvis at age 14 Tributes have been pouring in from fans and fellow musicians alike, all celebrating Bruce's exceptional talent and his warm personality. He was just the nicest person you could ever hope to meet and a joy to perform with, his former bandmate continued. An exceptional singer, musician and songwriter taken far too soon. We are going to miss him. R.I.P., Pete concluded. Don't miss. Dreamweaver singer and synthesizer pioneer Gary Wright dies aged 80, latest, global hunt for Sir Paul McCartney's missing £10 million guitar, insight, Noel Gallagher spills reason Adele riled me after branding her effing awful, comment, these words echoed the sentiment felt by many, emphasizing Bruce's exceptional skills as a singer musician, and songwriter, and the joy he brought to those who had the privilege to perform with him. His contributions to Runrig, starting in 1998 and continuing until the band's retirement in 2018, left a mark on the music scene. Bruce's legacy extended beyond his time with Runrig, with his website highlighting his four-decade-long dedication to music and his deep connection to Nova Scotia, his place of birth and upbringing. Throughout his career, Bruce amassed gold and platinum records, received multiple awards in various musical genres, and even ventured into lead roles in rock operas and his own television series. Before his death, Bruce's website stated that he was, choosing to stay close to home writing songs, working with various charities and corporate clients, as well as sharing the stage with his heroes, peers and some amazing, up-and-coming East Coast talent. The website also quotes Bruce sharing his favorite part of being an entertainer, give me a guitar a chair, and a few hundred people who want to listen to my songs and I'm as happy as I could ever be on stage, 